Hello there, it's Mike from Hobby Print. We're going to take a very quick look at the Epsom ET1810. We put quite a few of these out as part of the dye sublimation bundle and the great printers. We also happen to use them in our offices for general paperwork. They work well for that also. But I just want to point out a couple of the features of this particular printer. You've got, it operates with an ink tank. So instead of having ink cartridges, what you're doing is putting bottles of ink in directly into the printer. Very economical and it is clean. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not actually going to fill because this printer is set to go out. Some customers ask us to set the printer up, get it all geared up, ready to go. So we've put a small amount of ink in. They top it up when they receive it. So that's that. What are we going to show on this? Right, I've put the power lead in and the USB lead in. And the black lead is where the power lead will go. And the USB is a white lead. And it's a USB too. The printer is Wi-Fi as well as USB. So that covers the connectivity. Let's take a look at the paper tray. Um, it's at the back. You separate the drawer to take the paper size. Um, it's automatic and it comes from the centre as most modern printers these days. So there we go, that's how you put the paper in. Now I would make the point, this is a straight through printing path, therefore your finish side would be facing out. If it had been coming in from the front and going around, your finish side would be facing down. But this again is finish side facing out. I'm gonna to come to the front and we're gonna change it to camera two. Um, we're gonna take a quick look at the ink tanks. Now, the ink tank is really firm, firmly shut. So what I do to get it open is just drop this, and I'm having a fight with it, as you can see, and that's it, that's the ink tank. Now, at this point, we're gonna to go to camera three because you've got an angled shot down, and I think you can see a bit better. Ah, there we go. You can see the tank, each tank close you there. Now, I'm going to take you through how you would fill it using an empty bottle. There we go. And what you've got here, when you receive the bottle, you'll have ink and you'll have a welded top there. And I actually have one, a bottle over there, and I will show you that. But you would open the welded top, the seal, and all you would do there is you would locate that, and it's quite easy to see how to locate it, push it down, and that will auto drain the ink to the level it requires. Now, if you've already got some ink in, it will stop, and you'll see it stop, and all you do carefully is pull it back up, turn it over, and put your top back on, and that's you good to go. And obviously you would fill all the colors accordingly. Nice and easy. We just close him up. And there's your paper out tray. I'm not going to open that. Well, I think you can see that folds out. And that really is all to it. All there is to it on features. If you want to know where your serial number is, it's just here. That's your printer serial number. And if you want the password, and I think this is for e-printing, etc., etc., it's located just there. Right, I've already, I'd already turned the printer on and we're going to send over a test, pre, this, a test print. This is a nozzle print to see how the printer's performing. While Sandra's sending that to print, let's just talk about the nozzle print for a moment. If you have an issue with your printer and you don't think it's working right, the first thing to do is to print out a nozzle test print to make sure all the heads are firing up and that you don't have gaps in the pattern. And um, we can see that when that comes out. There we go. Coming through. It's very awkward to show you how we've got it. As you can see there, the yellow is awkward to see, but it is perfectly there. You can see the information you've got, serial number, firmware version, how many prints it's done, so on and so forth. If we could bring that back to camera two, Sandra, we may get a better shot of that. 
just a question of getting it in the right angle to offset the light and you can see all the information you've got there. If you've got a clean test print, nozzle test, that means the printer's doing all that it can and it's working absolutely fine. So that's what you're looking for. I'm going to ask Sandra now to print out another test sheet that we use. Okay, we're going to send over another test print that we use. This particular print tells us if the ink is keeping up with demand, basically. That sounds absolutely strange. But what we're looking for is clean squares with no gaps. So if you ever need this, all you do is come on to us and we will email it you or you can download it. You would only use this particular sheet on a couple of occasions. That will be when you're changing over from desktop ink to sublimation ink and you would print four or five of these sheets um, using the matte quality and the high quality or if you want to check if you've got quality issues. The first thing we do is print a nozzle test then we would print this if there were continued issues after that. I'm going to shut up now because I think we're going to speed this up on the final video.